today, Crafty Chums. It's Nikki here, aka Carson Cat, aka Carson Cat's Life, and um, look who's turning 30, my son, this coming week. So I'm making him a card. What I've done here is I've designed the card, and um, this is just the design. And because I've got it all laid out where I want it, um, uh, I'm going to pop this in the uh, in the little stamp press thing like that and then I will be placing these uh, stamps on there this is a um, this is a stamping up stamp set it's a birthday or greeting stamp set I forget what it's called um, and then this is a, a little uh, circular stamp that I'm going to place on here and I'll just do it off screen because if I lift the lid I'll just hit the stand that my camera's on and that's not quite the thing to do is it <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the stamps um, down here on there like that and then we'll be doing the bits and pieces I'll be stamping these two first and then I'll be doing the 30 inside so I'm working on a uh, slightly smaller card than the card base um, I've cut it down a quarter of an inch round smaller um, as I said uh, it's going to be a bit difficult for me to um, get this all on screen because uh, of the uh, camera, <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll ha give it a go. We'll give it a go. We can work it. If I just move things backwards and forwards, just to show you this on the stamp press. stamp it once and have a look see what it's stamped like I've just got to stamp it down again because it's just hasn't stamped here because the um because they're different company stamps this one will be thicker than this one so we'll just give it a go see what it's like hasn't quite stamped so as you see I'm missing the stamping up there so I'll just ink it up again and um, pop it down I'm just going to get my handy dandy cloth which just give me a bit of even pressure without squashing the stamp too much and it should stamp okay this time As it quite still here I might have to take this stamp off because it's interfering the height of it is interfering with the other stamp which sometimes happens not always but sometimes so just take that one off it's no biggie pop this one down do it like that and it should work perfectly just give it one more go for luck <laughs> there we are stamped okay that time as you can see so um, what I'm going to do now is take this stamp off there and um, pop that away because I just before I make a mess with it so what I'm going to do now is um, pop in these two stamps, the 30. If I, if I do it upside down it'll be okay because I'll still be able to see. <laughs> as long as I'm in camera shot, eh? So I can pop that there. this one there all I have to do is make sure it's straight and uh, inside the ring huh the Lord of the ring looks good looks good to me <laughs> pop these down what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to emboss these so I'm just going to put some um, Versamark ink on there 
and then we'll have some fun embossing. Sorry if I just bodged the camera a little bit, but <laughs> just make sure it's in the corner. You can do this with your fingers, you don't have to do it with this, I just find that um, if I rub it over with a cloth it's not exerting too much pressure on there and squashing the stamps out of whack, but um, this is stamping up stamps so they're really good quality stamps. Oops, <laughs> did you hear that? Oops. I've just got to be careful with the magnets on there because they're a bit, um, they're a bit fearsome. <laughs> okay. Now I got some gold embossing uh, powder the other day. This is a Nouveau one. I splashed out. And I am going to put this on here. So new look, it's even got the inside lid on it still. In fact, it's still got the all the inside lids on there. Oh wow. I, do you know what I didn't do? which was very remiss of me. I didn't put my anti-static powder on here, which is a shame. Darn it. <laughs> Might have to do it again. A little spot just there I need to take off. Might be able to do it with my uh, little toothpick. Okay. Just going to pop this back in. Be back in a second. I thought I would just put this on to a, a, a craft card base because um, it looks quite good anyway and it's a mail card and I'm just trying to keep it um, quite uh, simple. I really like the way that 30's come out on there and um, I could fancy it up just a little bit more which I might do actually and, uh, and that would be just to score like um, a little lines just around the inside and I actually think I'm going to do that. It's quite a nice idea, that one. Let me just wipe over this because it's a little bit gritty from the um, from the uh, powder, embossing powder. And I'm just going, as I said, keeping this simple, nice, uh, nice, simple card, mail card for my boy. Just been um, doing some mixed media work, so my blocks are still dirty. I need, do need to wash them, but uh, I'm just making a uh, 
little Romany wagon and uh, from scratch which is quite nice I like it <laughs> And I'm putting some extra tape down because, of course, the um, the heat embossing does uh, what it does do is it buckles the paper a little bit. So this, if you just put extra tape on, it just helps it sticks to the base of the card a little bit more. That's why I'm using the wide tape as well. Help it to stick down. So there we go. It's my card base. Take off the tape, do it under the camera. And there we go, a nice clean and simple mail card for my son who's turning 30. Oh my goodness, does that make me feel old? <laughs> my baby is turning 30 this coming week. So there we go. Hope you like the card, hope to see you again soon. Don't forget it's a cat's life. Bye.